Today I'm going to make a couple cocktails with beer, right now on Dr. Cork. But first, some of the most important ground rules on what you should and should not do when using beer in cocktails. Rule number one, don't add too much alcohol. Beer, though a low alcohol drink, still has alcohol in it. And if you overdo it with the addition of extra strong alcohol like tequila, rum or vodka, it can destroy the balance. That's why beer is often diluted with soft drinks, sodas, juices, to make it lighter rather than stronger. Rule number two, don't mix beer with creamy liqueurs. If you try to mix, for example, Baileys with beer or in fact with any carbonated beverage, the Irish cream will instantly curdle and turn into floating lumps. It's anesthetic, it doesn't taste good and it's generally quite disgusting. Rule number three, keep it simple. There are two basic principles of mixing flavors, when flavors complement each other or when flavors contrast each other. With beer only the first principle works. You taste the beer, you feel notes of, for example, grapefruit in it, or say you feel chocolate or coffee notes add vanilla or caramel, which go well with coffee. Of course, there are exceptions, for example, some dark beers go well with uh, some hot spices, but that's what they are, exceptions. And finally, rule number four, don't shake cocktails with beer. I hope I don't need to explain why. The first cocktail I ever made in my life, back in 2005 or so, was a snowball, one part advocat, egg liqueur, and one part sprite. At the party, the birthday boy was given a shaker as a gift, so I figured I should use it. Let's just say making the cocktail was quick, but scrubbing the kitchen not so much. Now on to the cocktails. First up is Michelada, a popular beer cocktail of Mexican origin. According to one legend, it was invented as a hangover cure by a bartender at Potosino Sports Club in the 1960s. Another legend is that it was named in honor of Mexican general Augusto Michel, who liked to drink beer with salt and lime juice. What is commonly called michelada is Mexican lager, salt, lime juice and tomato juice. You can add spices, sauces, replace tomato juice with clamato and generally do whatever you want with it. That said, a proper Mexican michelada is beer, lime juice, ice and salty rim. That's it. What many people call michelada with tomato and other stuff is what Mexicans call clamato, not to be confused with clamato juice, it's another story. In Mexico they even sell a special mix of clamato with spices, clam extract, salt and sugar. And today I'm going to make a variation on the classic michelada theme. So michelada. First let's make a salt rim to our glass, using a lime and a saucer full of salt. Fill the glass with ice, lime juice, one ounce, 30 milliliters hot sauce, a couple dashes, soy sauce, or in my case, maggi sauce, I like it better in this cocktail, a couple dashes, Worcestershire sauce, two dashes, a little bit of black pepper, and a Mexican lager, actually this one is Armenian. Mix it a little bit. And this is how you make the real michelada, a nice refreshing cocktail which I prefer to the tomato version. Uh, I think it's uh, more refreshing than that. But it depends on your taste. You either have it or you don't. Before we move on to the next cocktail, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my Patreon or to become my channel member on YouTube. Our sponsors get access to additional content, behind the scenes footage and some other sweet stuff. You'll help a lot by subscribing. All the links are in the description to this video and in the attached comment. Thank you very much. The next cocktail is the Corona Sunrise. I guess one day someone decided why not mix light beer and tequila sunrise. And that's how the Corona Sunrise came to be. I personally have a sweet spot for cocktails that are made directly in bottles. There's a certain charm to it. And although many people say that Corona is not beer and in general there are better options, but the cocktail is called Corona Sunrise, so I'm sorry. First of all, we take a bottle of Corona, open it, and drink or pour to the glass about a half. And to the bottle we're gonna add tequila, one and a half ounce, 45 milliliters, freshly squeezed orange juice, one and a half ounce, 45 milliliters, and grenadine, about half an ounce, 15 milliliters. If there's not enough beer in the bottle, you can always add what you poured to the glass. Squeeze a little bit of lime juice and garnish with a lime wedge. And this is how you make Corona Sunrise. The next cocktail is called Cranberry Ginger Shandy. A shandy is a European beer cocktail invented in Britain in the mid-1800s, 
the original name was Schendigaff, which refers to a beer mixed with ginger beer or ginger ale. Today it's more often mixed with lemon-lime soda, like Sprite or 7-Up, and known as Redler in Germany, Clara in Spain, or Panache in France. So let's make this cocktail. Fill the highball glass with ice and add cranberry juice, one and a half ounce, 45 milliliters, freshly squeezed lemon juice, half an ounce, 15 milliliters, ginger beer, one and a half ounce, 45 milliliters, and top up with pale ale or wheat beer, about three ounces, 90 milliliters. Garnish with a lemon wedge. And this is how you make cranberry ginger shandy. The next cocktail is lunchbox. Edna Scott, the owner of Edna's Club and Restaurant in Oklahoma City, came up with the lunchbox by accident while trying to make another drink, probably a boiler maker, according to her daughter Tammy Lucas. This is a mix of light beer, orange juice and amaretto liqueur. The glassware must be ice cold. The beer she used was Coors Light, and as for the orange juice, no need to squeeze it fresh, store-bought juice is fine. But I'm gonna use fresh squeezed orange juice anyway. The first thing we're gonna do is take our glass and put a shot glass inside of it. Put it in the freezer until ice cold, for about 15 minutes. Now fill the shot with amaretto liqueur. Then take your light beer and fill the glass with it. And top up with a little bit of orange juice. And this is how you make lunchbox. <sighs> not bad at all. I'm not a fan of boiler makers. Maybe you should just mix amaretto with orange juice and beer and drink it slowly without the shot glass, but it's not bad. Reminds me of Dr. Pepper because it has uh, almond flavor in it. 7 out of 10. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe to me everywhere on social media. The recipes in text form are always available on my website, dr-cork.com. The link is in the description to this video. Drink responsibly and as always, до свидос!